I'll have more. All right, here it is. Another Willet Sharpen. Another Willet Sharpen. I'm going to be handed something here in a minute. And, and uh, actually, right now, I have my eyes closed. And uh, I, I don't want eyes. to see it. Uh, open my eyes. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, we got us a, spa <laughs> we got us a spatula. <laughs> and um, so, so I can handle it easier uh, and work with it. I'm going to take the wrapping. Oh, that's actually stuck in there. Off of it. Okay. And it is a solid turner. Okay, so no springs, no hole in it and all that stuff. I'm sure it's probably stainless steel. It's actually kind of cool. Paper and, test, uh, skin test. Huh? Paper test, skin test. Okay, here we go again. We'll do it this way. Okay, uh, if we hold it up like this, if you hold it that way, you'll know. Hold it up this way, bottom side. Okay, we do this. All right, no no cutting there. It's actually nice and round. It, it wouldn't cut. You know, I could probably... <laughs> Yeah, but I, I'm not going to do that. So, will it sharpen? Um, we'll put you over there. All right, then we're going to actually slice an apple. All right, so will it sharpen? I'm going to move my chair a little bit. All right, ah, so I can work. And we'll see. Oops, yeah, that worked really good. So, I'm just going to leave them down there because that's where they're going to go. It's kind of a, it's only a uh, one foot square table. So um, I'm going to hang on to it. I'll pull up here like this. We've got two different sharpeners. Okay, this is the one called the long handle. This is one of them that I actually signed with the Viber pen. And um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I signed it on the back. It says probably handy sharp on the front. This is the long handle. It's got the open face sharpener. It's got the V-notch sharpener. It's got a nice handle that you can hang on to to work. You can tip it. You can dig at some uh, steel that way to make a knife. Then we got the sharpened spark. It does have the V-notch for reshaping blades, making knives out of uh, non-knife steel. And it's got the open face tungsten carbide. And then inside here, it's got the sharp and spark. A little faster okay sharp and spark so and the puppy dog says hey let me see what's going on there huh Cabo yeah you're a cool dog huh yeah come here yeah oh, he's a good boy. all right now that was a stray that got picked up so anyways now he's got a good home that's Cabo all right not my dog it's actually Chance's dog but pretty cool dog all right Let's get this set up and get going here. So, like that, like this. Okay. So, now we're going to finally start making a knife out of a turner. And I don't want this to be too long, so let's go. I can see the metal flying off. Ooh, this chatter is really bad. It's kind of thick, and it's going to take a little while. I can hear the chatter real bad. So, let's see. I don't know how to actually fix it. This may not work well at all because it's chattering so bad. All right, well, let's see. I'm just going to get with it and we'll give you what you get. It's an unstable table. You want to do it on the pets? No, that's just... It's actually the chatter uh, from the cross V. Oops. Let's turn this over and see. Um, my gosh, you know, that's actually starting to change. So let's just rip some metal off this way. We can turn it over and just kind of rip at it. Pull it back towards me. It's also kind of soft, and I think that's what's causing most of the problem is the spatula uh, is actually a soft stainless, so it really wants to bite, and that's probably what's causing the chatter is biting really bad. It's not hard like a knife at all. A knife is so hard that it actually won't let it bite like that. Right now, I'm kind of lifting it up as I go back. You'll hear the change in the sound. But I can move uh, more quickly this way. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I remember a guy named Brandon that was over in the UK that gave me a lot of uh, uh, a lot of static over, you know, making a knife out of a uh, butter knife. So anyway, I'm just sitting here thinking. I thought, I wonder what old Brandon's up to these days. I don't seem to get any conversation with him at all. It did end up on a good note. He actually used the sharpener. He bought a sharpener, he used it, and he said it took me a while, I figured it out. But by gosh, you know what? He said it's actually a pretty good deal, so that's cool. All right, I don't even know where we're at on this exactly. So let's just kind of finish it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the apple and see. And I'll actually use the other side that I haven't touched at all. And uh, see how this is actually going. Okay. This would be the wrong side down that I didn't sharpen, so. And you can see the dent in the apple. I'm actually pushing on it. I'm not just faking it. I'm sawing on it this way. Now we're just gonna turn it over. Oop, it finally went right on through. Okay, but that's not, that's not sharp. It's actually, you can actually kind of make it sing. So it's, much different so it has actually getting sharper it's got to actually catch your skin to make a vibration to kind of make it sing so let's see here I won't push on it quite so hard and so maybe it won't chatter so bad Cabo, what are you doing down there, buddy? You hear this sound? Huh? You think I'm making you some food? That is thick. Uh, it's over a 32nd of an inch thick, so it really will take a little bit of work. But you know what, after a while, if I was out somewhere and I needed a knife, and I had a spatula like this, I'd make a knife out of it. And it probably wouldn't take too long. A little awkward. But there aren't very many sharpeners out there that you can actually remove enough metal quick enough that you could actually get this done. Uh, you just about have to have the carbide sharpeners to do this because uh, a Lansky, a stone, a steel, uh, ceramics, things like that, no. If you're gonna actually make a knife out of a non-knife piece of metal, you're gonna have to have something that's aggressive that'll actually cut the metal off. Otherwise, you just never get there. And if you had a more stable surface, that would probably help. I'm stubborn. I'm not going to change. We're going to do it right here, just like this. And I can see metal coming off on this little stand, so I know it is working. And I can see little metal shavings. And believe it or not, you know what? They are kind of sharp and stuff. They really don't just stick in your clothes. And if you do it right, you know, and you just kind of do this, you know, they come right off. So it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, turn it back over. It's got to be that side. Let's run it through the uh, cross V again. They are thick. It's kind of unbelievable how thick that actually is. <laughs> so the answer to will it sharpen I think it will sharpen almost any piece of metal 
The thicker it is, the longer you're going to have to work and the harder you're going to work. But the answer is always going to be yes. Uh, now, if it's thin plastic, uh, it might not get it to cut. But if it's any kind of a metal, although I did get a credit card to cut, slice the strawberry with it. Actually, it sliced the strawberry pretty good. ready for another test. It's about 50 degrees today, could be a little bit cooler. Our summer is, uh, you know, we're still going to have some nice weather, but today is a little, just a little humid, a little drizzly, a little cold. Still pretty nice day though. I don't even know what day it is. It's probably the 23rd or something like that of September. Um, the 26th, I take off on another little adventure. I'll film from that one and show you a little bit about that trip. Uh, this is this going to take a little bit to make this thing really actually slice. Okay, that isn't too bad, but it's got to be sharper than that to actually be, you know, yeah, it's sharp. Ooh, that actually went right through pretty easy, okay? So, let's see if Cabo likes apple. Eat it. <laughs> you got to eat it, buddy. You got to eat it. All right, let's get to work here. Mmm. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. You eat it. You eat it. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes you can actually con a dog into going ahead and picking it up. and They pick it enough times they'll go, oh, okay, I'll eat it. Letting it rise up a little bit going out, putting more pressure on it coming back. And by the way, now Ivan Kilcher from uh, Alaska's uh, Last Frontier, the Kilcher family, now has one of these. I should have given all of them, should have given like six or seven of them uh, so that the whole family, you know, could have one. Um, so anyway, we'll see. I told them to, uh, you know, talk it over up there and see maybe they want to sell the sharpeners in Alaska, okay? The other side's harder to work on. All right, let's rip some steel. January, I'll be down in uh, Puerto Vallarta. I don't know how long I'm going to get to stay. A friend of mine goes down there. He's actually my ex-boss. Uh, goes down there. He's been down there 20 times. They go down and stay for a month. And uh, this is really kind of funny. Um, evidently, you know, I, him and his wife, Leslie, we've gotten along so well for a long time. And uh, Mike called me the other day and he says, hey, we want you to come back down to Puerto Vallarta so bad that we actually rented uh, your own place above ours at condominiums um, for a month and so I've got to make it work I got I got to make it work you know 
if they're going to pay for uh, my own condo, okay, that that says something. Uh, maybe it says they had a guilty conscience because they didn't pay me enough while I was working for them. Because <laughs> I really did a lot of stuff for them, managed a crew, worked with a lot of drug addicts and people that make you pull your freaking hair out, you know. Um, and I didn't complain. There's no sense in complaining. Yeah, just like this. If nothing else, my arm's getting a workout here. All right, let's see. further along. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. Besides, I like iron in my diet, so you gotta eat the metal slivers too. I know I'm not gonna spit them out. Ooh, there's one right there. That's why God put pants on man, so he does somewhere to wipe. Oh, and my Bronco socks for Bronco fans here in Denver and Wyoming, because Wyoming doesn't have a pro team. We just got the Wyoming Cowboys, which they're pretty good too. And go back to this side, this side. All right, let's just hurry up. Think the dog <laughs> was it the apple <laughs> I don't, he didn't eat it oh it did no it's down there okay. no there's something else wrong with Cabo. <laughs> okay. by the way that is cabo san lucas buell that's cabo san rufus san rufus <laughs> i like uh san lucas better that's a good spot Actually, I've never been to Cabo. Been to Puerto Vallarta and Mazalan. I've been to Denny's and uh, McDonald's. That's okay, too. I do speak Spanish. Tostito, taco, enchilada, uh, you know, enchilados. Oh, yeah. Don't have to put, oh, yeah. Look at this. Okay, now we go lengthways right through the core. Now, that's actually pretty good, but oop, don't want to wipe it on there. So we go here, we go there, oh, we go down there. And uh, Glamour Magazine, I guess. And let's uh, take a, oop, it's getting, actually it's feeling kind of moist. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just tear one of those beautiful girls into. I don't think much of there. Oh, that's like crazy thin too. That's thin as tissue paper. But you know what? I, I'm actually surprised. All right, let's get the wind in our favor. That's sharp. Actually, that is sharp. If it'll cut that thin of paper that easy without tearing the paper. Yeah, it bites pretty good. Never shave hair. Anyway, this is Brad. That's a spatula. Will it sharpen? Do you like our sharpen series? Will it sharpen series? Uh, you know, click down below, watch the videos, give us a review. Uh, you know, laugh with us, laugh at us. I don't care. Take a look, but have fun. This is Brad. Take care and have a great day.